Hello everybody, welcome back to Tim Man Collections of today. I'll be showing you guys an updated look at my Johnny Depp movie collection. And I think we're going to start where Johnny, pretty much his career, kicked off with Nightmare on Elm Street 1. And uh, he was just playing the, the boyfriend of her right there, of Nancy. And then towards the end, or in the middle of the film or whatever, he got killed off. And then, oh... Before I mention this one, but he did appear as a cameo in like, uh, what was it, uh, Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare, but that was it. I'm not going to include that one, but if I ever get the single DVDs of these, I might do another updated video if I get more Johnny Depp movies, but anyway. Then we also got Edward Scissorhands, and I believe this is like the first time he worked with Tim Burton. I'm not be, what well, I don't know that for sure, but this... It's what I remember him being the first thing he worked with Tim Burton with. Is Edward Scissorhands. I said, classic movie where Vincent Price put him together. And his plan was to make him a complete man. But he didn't finish. So he left him with Scissorhands. And people considered him like a freak. But she falls in love with him towards the end. I said, this is a good story right here. You need to watch it. But then, Johnny came back with Tim Burton years later. And did Sleepy Hollow with uh, Christina Ricci and Christopher Walken playing the Headless Horseman. I said that was a nice spin right there. <laughs> anyway, um, this is a nice movie to watch. And I heard they're making another Sleepy Hollow movie. I'm going, like, Man, how many more of these are going to make? But anyway, Johnny did an absolute preferred job in this role. And then finally in 2000, uh, this is an... Uh, Edition, I don't know if you saw in one of my movie haul videos, but he did this movie called Chocolate. Chocolate. Anyway, this woman moves in with her daughter to this town. It looks like in a foreign country somewhere. And uh, the mayor is like, you have to come to church. And she didn't want to do that or whatever. And uh, he was against her making chocolate instead of like a, like a beastry type shop or whatever. And... Um, they all judged her thinking that she was like a worship of Satan or something. But then uh, later on, Johnny showed up as a, what they call a river rat. And pretty much uh, riding the river. <laughs> but he falls in love with her. I said they had a little smooch scene towards the end. But anyway. Then, one of my favorite roles, Johnny Depp right here, is Captain Jack Sparrow in Pirates of the Caribbean. Curse of the Black Pearl. And I love how, like, this guy right here, Barbosa was able to turn into a ghost skeleton pirate. I said that was cool. The effects on that was cool. And I love towards the end where he found revenge and he got his ship back. So I said, yippee. But this is a good movie right here. And then he ended up doing this one. This is another update I just picked up right here uh, along with that chocolate movie. But it's called Finding Neverland. I just got done watching it. And I said it's emotional towards the end. But spoiler alert, but if you haven't seen it, she's the mother of uh, this boy and uh, these other boys right here. And um, Johnny's acting like the, the man that writ the play of Peter Pan. And her boys expired, uh, the boys that were in the in the play. And um, unfortunately, she got sick towards the end, died, and he had to comfort the boys. And I said, this is a sad twist. Okay, but it'll get you. Then... <clears throat> Time jump, Tim Burton again. This time it's Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. And uh, he's working with Freddie Highmore again that plays Charlie, who was in Finding the Neverland as a younger boy. He's I remember he said he was glad to get work with Johnny again. But uh, this is a cool movie. I said, uh, and Tim Burton said if Ronald Dahl was still around, uh, they said he would probably like this version better than the Willy Wonka one. But I, I like both anyway. Then they did Pirates of the Caribbean dead man's chest and this time it's got Davy Jones in it as the bad guy and they're trying to find his chest that has his heart trying to bribe him you know to get off of Johnny's or Jack Sparrow's back basically and I love the Ash of Thrill sequence especially when he's like playing as like the tribal king or something of these people right here but then it's set up towards the end with uh, this one at World's End and uh, basically, all the pirates had to get together to go up against uh, the British. 
and uh, they had to fight Davy Jones until finally Jack gave the knife to Will Turner, and he used his hand to stab the heart in that one, and Will became the new captain of the Dutchman and swore his debt with Jones. Then Johnny took a break from Pirates of the Caribbean for a while, and he did more stuff with uh, Tim Burton like this one. Uh, Sweeney Todd, good movie. All right. Now, I'm not usually a fan of musicals, but this is one that I actually like right here. But um, the way Johnny plays Sweeney Todd right here is dark, demented, and everything right here. Mm. And he thinks his wife is dead or something. Or, or I just love the, the numbers in here. But anyway. Anyway, and then he went on to this one. Now, this is another favorite of mine, like a gangster film, Public Enemies. And this one's got Christian Bale in it as well. But Johnny's playing John Dillinger and Christian Bale's playing uh, Melvin Purvis of FBI. <laughs> so I thought that was a good film. It, it kind of gives you a glimpse of what they had to do back in the 40s and whatnot. Then Johnny came back with Tim Burton to do a Disney film Alice in Wonderland. And he played the Mad Hatter, which I believe he was the best Mad Hatter. Right here, he, he was uh, funny and with a twisted sense of humor. <laughs> and... Uh, I just loved how he looked. He looks a lot more, like, a little bit dark, but a little bit more, how should I put it, dainty and <laughs> crazy sometimes. But, hey, they pretty much nailed what a Mad Hatter is to the T back there. And then he, a year later, he did another Pirates of the Caribbean movie on Stranger Tides, and this time he got to fight with one of my favorite pirates from history, Blackbeard. And uh, with the help of Barbosa, they were able to take him down. <laughs> And Barbosa got control of his ship. So I said that was a fun movie. And then he came out with this, Dark Shadows. I said Johnny Depp is a vampire. Yes, but here's the thing. I thought Dark Shadows was something that Tim Burton and Johnny just came up together all of a sudden. But I didn't know it was a miniseries or soap opera they based it off of. But uh, once I got this one, I bought uh, a DVD of uh, Dark Shadows, it was like a few episodes from the show, and I saw, yep, that was a soap opera, but I kind of like Johnny's better, but anyway, I wish they could do a sequel to that one, but I haven't seen nothing about that yet, or if he's interested, but anyway, another favorite, Lone Ranger, Arnie Hamner playing Lone Ranger, and Johnny Depp playing Tonto, I said, and he's supposed to be a Comanche, and I looked up Comanche war paint, and I said the paint that he's wearing right here. Right there. I looked that up. That ain't Comanche. I think that was something else, but Johnny liked it, so he went with it. But, uh, that, that, that's actually a good movie. I'm not surprised they haven't said nothing about a sequel for this one yet, but this is a good movie. And I wish they did do a sequel, but, uh, I don't know if they're ever going to do it, but I love the fact that he was, uh, like, in the movie, he's chained up right next to the, the bad guy, Butch Cavendish, right here. And then later on, uh, Arm the Hammer here, Lone Ranger, joins up with him because he killed his brother. So I said, yes. Man, that, that, that's a good, kind of like a double, double revenge story. But anyway. Then Johnny came back to do Alice Through the Looking Glass right here, or to do Mad Hatter once again. This time thinking that his family's alive, which they were. And he was able to apologize to his father and everything. But got a lot more colorful than the last one. I tell you, it was a little bit more grim and dark. Well, this one's got more brighter tones to it, and Mad Hatter was still wearing different hats. <laughs> and uh, finally, in my Johnny Depp collection, I have the last Pirates of the Caribbean. Well, that men tell no tales. Now, this probably ain't going to be the last one because I heard they, Disney wants to do another one, but I don't know if Johnny's going to be involved with it or not, which I hope he is, but I mean, you never know. Uh, but this one was a good one right here. And I said, oh, they brought in a... Uh, uh, Will Turner's son and uh, Barbosa's daughter and this ghost Spanish person right here going after Johnny after he killed him years ago. But then after they broke the uh, Poseidon's trident, he was set free. But then he got drowned in the water. <laughs> so And Barbosa got killed also. I said, I don't know what they're going to do from there. And I kept hearing rumors that they were going to do like Pirates of the Caribbean spinoffs, but I don't know if that's ever going to happen. But anyway... All right, that's my Johnny Depp movie collection so far. Now, I am interested in getting, like, uh, Corpse Bride. 
because I understand Christopher Lee was in it just like he did with uh, Sleepy Hollow. Uh, what was the other one? Uh, he played the voice of like the Bandersnatch in Alice in Wonderland, and he was a Charlie Chocolate Factory as his dad, and Dark Shadows as um, a pirate, uh, what do you call him? One of those fish captains. Because after the, these right here, he died in 2015, so I figured. Like, Course Bride, and I was, might be interested in Ed Wood and then that other one he did where it was like a western, like Dead Man, whatever that was called. That one I might be interested in getting, but as of right now, this is what my collection is as of uh, 2022. And uh, these are the type of roles that I like Johnny in right here. Right here. He, like, he's more of like a, he could be a straight man to a character actor. I mean, he, he could do both. So, All right. That's going to be it for now. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.